after Jesus has his little run-in in the temple. The authorities ask him what authority he has to cleanse the temple. Come to think of it, this is a valid question to ask. It is a valid question to ask of ourselves too, particularly if we ever find ourselves in a temple situation. And we must be brutally honest with ourselves. By what authority do we do anything? There is a range of answers here, some good and some very bad. The worst is a kind of appeal to power, because I can. This is closely linked to a desire for power, more often than not a desire to take power for the sake of personal benefit. It's my turn to eat at the trough. Then there is authority based on tradition. It's always been done that way. Which is a mistaken understanding of tradition. Tradition is at best a mixture of continuity and change. A tradition can sometimes become outdated, losing its original purpose, or even proven wrong. Holding to such traditions is not heroic, it's blindness. Some traditions are invented. By repetition, they become more ancient than they are, particularly if we conveniently forget their origins. Far better authority is that which is based on principles and knowledge. One sees a bad situation, analyzes what the problems are, embraces core values or principles, examines better possibilities and acts rooted in values and not for oneself in a or a sectoral interest but for the greater good for the most persons affected. Ask yourself, when faced with claims to blind authority, do I conform or resist? Am I blinded by the cult of celebrity or personality? How do I understand tradition? Why do I do so? If I resist, do I imagine something new? And on what grounds do I claim my authority?